and their tongue is meant to be like in their um, crotch, and there's some reasoning behind it. As we'll see in a little bit here. Now it's not really clearly noticeable, but if you get right up to the edge and you look carefully, you'll see that there's a tongue on there. And you can't really see what's on them from here. But later, you'll see that there's actually a Triforce on the bottom of these. So it's people have their tongue on the Triforce, where the crotch would usually be. And the point of that was to show distaste to the female gods. Um of Hyrule, because they believed that the giants were the protectors. Alright. Mm -hmm. Well, they believed that the giants were the protectors, and so they built this... <clears throat> Or at least according to the Stone Tower theory, this is like Termina's version of the Tower of Babylon. Where the people built it to get up to the heavens and to defeat the gods. And we'll see a later item in the dungeon that somewhat cements this theory. Not completely, but partially. It's an item that allows you to u that allowed them to use the giant's powers they thought against the gods. But the gods saw distaste in it. And that was one of the very first problems. Oops, wrong song. And that was one of the first problems, when the problems first began. And the gods flipped the tower upside down so that it would lead into hell instead of up to the heavens. And in that hell is where they were said to have found Majora's Mask. And they brought it back, completely unknowing of its true meaning, of its true purpose. That the gods purposefully had them bring it back. As a way to, uh, destroy. As a way to destroy, uh, uh, Termina. Or at least to get them to see what their wrongs were and to get them to believe again. What the hell? No, 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 no. Shit. I guess I need to go back down here again. Okay. Hang on. Oh, jeez. I see the fire bat back there. Don't you even try nothing. And that's basically a stone tower theory. That it was, uh... 
built to honor the giants and the gods didn't like it very much. And another thing that'll help indicate its true purpose in a little bit is you'll see something and it'll be kind of interesting to say the least. Oh fuck! There! Thought I killed him. I guess I did. Got ya, just barely. I hear Gibdos. I know that there's a few chests in here. None of them are really that important, though. Um... I don't know, I may as well use the Garon. I don't know. Oh, I don't have the Ocarina out, though. Right now. There's something on the f up higher on the temple that I'm going to show you too. That solidifies the stone tower uh, theory even more. And it's kind of uh, graphic actually if you can tell what it is, but I think they did it purposely to illustrate a point. Alright, there we go. Now it's set up correctly. There we go. I didn't remember it being that difficult. Oh no. Um. Now we gotta use the Zora since I already used Human and Goron. And Deku's too light. Alright, yeah. Din, doo, 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 doo. So anyways, I'll elaborate a little bit more when we get to the top here. And I'm going to try and explain the best that I can so that I don't really forget anything. But I mean, I personally think I'm doing a pretty good job of it right now. At least the short and sweet version, anyways. Mmm, like honey. Or like pie! I like pie! Alright, I hear- Oh, oh, eh, 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 I didn't give you permission to touch me! Whatever. Coward! You are coward! You run from me, you are coward! Oh jeez, oh jeez, get up here before the screen shrinks. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, boy! Alright, 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 get on the flat land! Go, go. Please stay up here when the time changes. Please don't go back to the bottom. Please. I am begging of you. Alright, what the hell is going on here? Come on. Let's get to the next day already. Oh, you can actually see it from here, so I'll explain it from here. But first, let's wait until the second day, which really, two or three seconds. There we go. Right on cue. 24 hours remain. And now... See how their arms are up? That's how they prayed. And do you see that little fire up over there? It's harder to see from here. 
but from the top level, it actually looks a lot like a phallus. <laughs> And that was actually done on purpose because basically what they were telling the gods when they were building this was screw you, we don't need you, we have the giants. And contrary to what you might think by what we've told you, the gods didn't really hate they just wanted them to see their wrongs. And they may have went a little far in doing so. But eventually Link the hero comes and restores the land. To what it was meant to be. Now I'm not exactly sure why you'd want to go over that way. But, oh yeah, that one doesn't really do anything, what about, no, um, because I really don't think that there's anything over there. That one does do something, but only if the other ones are moving. So I actually don't think that those do anything. Now you gotta step on these in a certain order, otherwise it doesn't really work. I'm pretty sure the one over here is the first one though. First we have to blow up this beam most though. And what fits into this theory even more is that Termina is a Latin word meaning, um, like ending, or that it will end, whether it is like now or later it will, it basically means destined to end. It will end. It is terminating. It is short. It is fleeting. Which sounds like a real gruesome name at first, but if you actually know the backstory about it, it isn't quite as gruesome as you think. Because what Link is really here to do is to bring back hope, and to bring back faith. And it actually fits into his own backstory pretty well. Because he lost faith that he'd ever find Nafi. But in going to this land... Oh, here's the try for- Oh, da 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 I didn't mean to step on that. There. Alright. So now, get up here, and now, this is a really good angle to see it from. You can see the Triforce in his crotch much better now. And then what looks like buttocks. So yes, it is very... Um, it is kind of graphic, but only if you know what to look for. Nintendo, you are some smart sons of bitches. Hide the symbolism well enough and you can still pass with an E rating. Alright, now... LG of... Emptiness again. Do 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 do. Should be one more switch up. Oh. 
just from where I am. Alright. Yep, right up here is where it should be. Nope, one more up. That's where the Zora was. Pretty sure it's one more up anyways. It appears to be. Yes, it is. Oh, stay on it. Wow, oh, I rolled right the fuck off. It went right over my goddamn head. Why does that keep happening? Link isn't supposed to move during the cutscene. During the cutscene? During the cutscene, fool, I'll cut you. Cut you, man, I'll cut you. Oh my gosh, get out the ocarina again. Play the Elegy of Emptiness. Don't worry, we're almost to the top here. Almost there. Almost there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't lag on me now. Don't lag now. Alright, I'm not exactly sure what these three those three switches are for. Maybe if you wanted to get back down that way. I don't know why you'd really want to, though why you wouldn't just soar to another statue, but hey, I mean, you know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Oh, can... Nope, not quite. This is the one where you have to go right up to the edge. And... Even then, you can only just barely get it. Alright, but it's good enough. It's not just good, it's good enough. Alright, we're almost there. Here we are. This is the owl statue, which we should hit quick so that we can get back here without having to play the Elegy of Emptiness 10 or 15 frickin' times again. And then, you can see that it's like phalluses almost, that it's phallic. And then the hand there, but it only has, f but it's lifting the wrong finger. Because if it was lifting the actual middle finger, then um, the ESRB probably wouldn't have looked upon them so kind. But they used a different finger with the same kind of connotation is more so of, like, symbolism. Because that's almost like a person's face there. Like with all the tribal war paint and everything. And they were telling the gods to fuck off. Or we'll screw you. Literally. <laughs> Anywho. Now that that's all settled, now that we got this owl statue, there's a, one or two other things that I wanted to do before I finish this cycle off. So, now we must go to Milk Road, or more literally to Romani. Ram.